Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here, and in this video, I've got your gameplay and also a mini review for the Focke Wolf 190A5 U14. This is a rank 3 battle rating 4.3 aircraft in the German air tech tree that was introduced in the Fire and Ice update and currently costs 1600 Golden Eagles. Now, this is a pretty unique aircraft because even though it is a Focke Wolf 190, the A5, one of the most commonly used aircraft around this BR, it is different because because it can use a torpedo. That's right, in War Thunder's ever-expanding quest to try to get people into naval, they just introduced a premium FW-190 that is also a torpedo bomber, and is actually listed as such on its stack card. Interestingly though, and kind of unfortunately, this does not get an air spawn, and rather gets an airfield spawn, so bear that in mind. I actually purchased this for the 1600 Golden Eagles just to see if I could spawn in the air and uh, unfortunately that is not the case but I guess that might make this a little bit too powerful if that were the case but uh, cough cough I'm looking at you ME262 A2A with the air spawn not that that's been done before but either way again I will be doing a, uh, a mini review here a little bit different so this will not be a typical review but rather something that kind of goes on as the video goes on so if you guys want to know if this aircraft is worth purchasing for 1600 golden eagles or not this won't be my traditional type of review where I kind of go from section to section with many clips it'll just probably be two or three matches in a uh, single video with me kind of rambling on about if this plane is good or not in several different key areas but that said let's get into some gameplay here see how it does the model is beautiful by the way great job gaijin but either way let's get into it so there's an interesting thing now with the addition of this aircraft in that with the german air tech tree with premium aircraft you can purchase, if you know, of course, if you want to purchase one, one of three aircraft, or two, or all three of them, if you'd prefer, kind of like what I kind of have, in that there are three 4.0 and 4.3 PR premium aircraft now that each cost 1,600 Golden Eagles. One in the P-47, the other in the TA-154, and finally, the newest one in the FW-190A5 U-14. Now, they all present kind of an interesting, uh, I guess, reasoning for purchasing. Some of them might be, you know, for example, the P-47. That one is just good overall. It doesn't, un unfortunately, it doesn't have the ability to carry any sort of bombs, but it is still a very effective strafer, especially in lightly armored uh, enemies. It can really do a number on them. Secondly, you have the TA-154, which is what that guy has over there. He's getting knocked out by the XP-50, which is just an absolute beast of an aircraft. And that is a really good interceptor, for the most part. Just so happens that the XP-50 is a better interceptor. But that's beside the point. Well, kind of. Um, and then third... Okay, I was hoping to hit an engine, but that apparently did not happen. So you do not want to really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an XP-50 if you didn't know that already. But it is what it is. And then third again, you have this aircraft. And the FW-190, uh, the premium one that I'm flying here, is just fantastic. Now, it doesn't have the highest um, fire, I guess you could say, rate of fire or um, burst mass, really, of, a of any of those aircraft. In fact, actually, it's got the lowest. Despite being nicknamed the Butcher Bird, this only has two cannons, um, whereas the P-47s have, I believe, was it, 850 cals, which is phenomenal. And that actually goes quite a long way towards going after ground units uh, in strafing runs. But, again, the two MG-151 cannons on this aircraft are excellent. I mean, they are among the best 20mm cannons in War Thunder. I'm going to go for this Firebrand. Don't know if he even notices me here. Yes, he does. Aim a little bit south of him. Didn't hit him once. Jesus. Holy guacamole. That was so embarrassing. Okay, I'm going to go for the Spitfire now. Or the Mustang. Or the Spitfire. Or whoever it is wants to actually let me hit them. Jeez, this is awful. And this is what happens. Okay. Got that kill finally. Just... Don't mind the ugly shooting. That is not indicative of these cannons being bad. It's just indicative of me not hitting anything uh, tonight. Not had a good night when it comes to aerial uh, gunnery. 
But, okay, that should have been... Kind of wish that was a uh, an assist, but it is what it is. So, again, this aircraft, in my opinion, the Focke Wolf, the premium FW-190 A5U-14, is going to be the best of the three when it comes to overall, at least when it comes to going after naval. So if you actually want to get into naval, this is not a bad place to start as a support aircraft. You will be able to take out enemy aircraft. You will be able to, of course, take out larger ships. Now, it's not got the best torpedo in the game, but nen uh, none. <laughs> no aerial torpedoes are really going to be fantastic, unless, of course, it's a Japanese aerial torpedo, in which those are pretty much all very good. Uh, better, certainly, than the Allied torpedoes. Now, that said, though, um, when it comes to strengths and weaknesses of this aircraft, it is very important to know. I I'd like to go over, let's say, two or three aircraft or uh, strengths and weaknesses each. And first and foremost, I'll just say this has a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, roll rate. As you can see here, I mean, well, can't really see right here yet, but it's got a really nice roll rate. Typically, it's much better beyond 400 kilometers per hour. And it is just really nice, better than most aircraft in the game. And it allows you to throw around your energy much better than a lot of other aircraft, meaning that aircraft such as the Spitfire, of which will be better... Uh, at maneuvering than you are might not be able to actually catch up with you in a turn because if you can go left go right uh, much quicker than they can then that might actually give you the ability to kind of outrun them outfox them which is very very nice um, it kind of opens the door for for additional pilot skill now another i guess strength of this aircraft is going to be its dive rate this is one of the best divers in war thunder uh, regardless of era it's just phenomenal uh you know this thing can pretty much dive down better than almost anyone else in my opinion any other prop plane at this br um, the focke wolf 190 is renowned for that and finally i would say it's got great top speed acceleration good rate of climb and in my opinion a very good armament with a good amount of ammunition the mg 151s are really excellent and despite not having the highest burst mass of any aircraft in or around its BR, it certainly has a, an effective burst mass and uh, really makes full use of the 2.5 kilograms or so per second of burst mass that it gets. Okay, this guy's just kind of let me lay it down here. Not really sure why. Maybe he's out of it? I'm not sure. Okay, I'll just... Okay, perfect. So I got three kills there. Um, that said, let's get into another match. I'm assuming I'm not going to get any more kills here. Who knows? But, um, you know, we'll probably get into another match here. But, like I said, overall, this aircraft is very, very good. When it comes to weaknesses, not the greatest maneuverability. Um, that's probably its biggest weakness. And, again, it does lack a little bit. I wish it had some sort of secondary armament. Because even though the MG-151s are fantastic... Every now and again, even having the two extra LMGs right above where the uh, the nose is, those help out tremendously in uh, attacking enemies or, or even sometimes getting a crit. So that said, let's get into the next match here, uh, see what we could do, go into some tactics with this aircraft. But again, I really like this aircraft, and it is a very valid choice for a Rank 3 1600 GE uh, aircraft in the German air tech tree. Yeah, I got some sort of a bomber over here. Not really sure. Oh, B-26. Perfect. Going to go for him. That'll probably turn around for this P-51 over here. Or I should go for the P-51 first because he is getting real nice and close. Nope. Going for the bomber. Okay. Let's see if I can actually knock this baby out in one burst or if I die. I suppose both of those are totally legitimate options here. Got him. Not too terrible. Not the best. Time to go up a little. Go down. Head on with the Spitfire here. Knocked him out. Head on with the F4. Damaged him severely. That works for me. Typhoon's probably on my booty, which is not good. What was that? Two kills, one assist. And go in for this F4 here. Three kills. Got this Typhoon still on me. Oh, yes, I do. So I might have to start throwing around my weight here. Turn this way. Turn this way. 
Because he does not have the ability to turn with me. That roll rate that he has is not nearly as good as what I have. Uh, so I can use that kind of to my advantage. But he does still have a really good turn rate. So he once he actually does get on that turn, he will be able to uh, recover quite well. Or maybe if I'm lucky, I can let him kind of go right by me. Being the gentleman that I am. Nope. This guy is not the worst, I'll tell you that much. Um, do I have anyone else out? I did not mean to do that. Okay, I got this P-51 here. Gonna try to head on. Four kills. Four and a half kills. Come on, put them flappies on. I really don't know how this Typhoon is still, like, he hasn't killed me. But okay, I got four kills. Uh, probably should just let this P-51 die on his own. Maybe I can get somebody to save me here. Are you serious? Wow, look at this. I'm not... <laughs> Are you for real? Absolutely unbelievable. Wow. This guy just took my kill and just purposely didn't go to cover me. Unbelievable. Four kills. Actually, no, it is totally believable. This is worth under whom I can. Got four kills, one assist. Not a bad match, indeed. Uh, see if I can do something. Okay, maybe not. So, because my airframe is so shot up, uh, I really am not, I'm going to have a tough time just getting any energy with this thing, uh, getting any forward speed. Um, so, I may just be kind of relegated to destroying some ground targets here. Oh, looks like I'm overheated. Of course, it's going to happen after a while. Let's see if I can destroy this medium tank. I doubt. Wow. I forgot, you know, that they made actually destroying some ground vehicles pretty easy in this but this is also another really nice thing for you guys to know here so it's not really you know like i said i can make a video where it's just like me going after air targets or something and that's cool don't get me wrong but ultimately let's hope he just commits okay i didn't really do well there but let's just you know one thing i could do ultimately is i could just kind of get air kills sure but this can go after, you know, it can go after ground targets as well. So that's also useful. So I got four kills, one assist, three ground kills for 3,663 points. Let's get into one final match and see how we do. But again, great plane. So here we are in the FW-190 equipped with a torpedo. As you can see here, it can only be dropped at up to 281 kilometers per hour and up to 105 meters. So I really got to slow down here. Oh, I hit someone else with uh, one of my torpedoes from a ship I had. None too shabby. Kind of want to go for that guy, but he knows I'm here. So, you know what? I'm going to probably go for this guy in the back here. Hopefully he doesn't notice me. Turn down my engines. Now, aerial torpedoes, they are a little special in that uh, they just aren't as good. A lot of the time they weigh more, they don't have as much explosive filler, and uh, their requirements for launch are a little absurd. But we'll try to do something here as I slow down a bit to be able to get into position. But hopefully, I, okay, I am getting close to this guy. So put my engines back on, check this out again. I can go 281 at max. So I'm getting real close to this guy, and I am at speed. Perfect. He doesn't notice I'm here. Doesn't notice I'm here. Three, two, one. Launch. Got him! Nice! <laughs> Bet you guys never thought you'd see that. An FW-190 with a torpedo taking out a ship. What in the world? Wow! So, I guess in theory, it actually works. It actually works. So, I'm going to go for this small boat here. I mean, I'm equipped with uh, 
Ooh, there's two small boats. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to probably die first, but, you know, who would have thought? Who would have thought that we'd be getting a torpedo bomber variant of the FW-190 coming to War of Thunder? And it actually works. It actually works. What a trip and a half, man. Woo! Okay. My guy... Oof! My engine is destroyed right now. These guys did a number on me, but I was at least able to really uh, severely damage one. I'm going to come back around here. Probably won't have enough steam to really do anything. So I'm going to probably have to swim with the fishes. But, you know what? I don't really care. My only intention on making this portion of the video here was just to show that that torpedo works. And it does. It works perfectly well. And I did it. <laughs> I am so stoked. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. You know, like I said, being that this is a mini review, uh, you know, just some final remarks on this aircraft, it's perfectly good. You know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this plane. I think of the three uh, similarly priced and BR'd planes, the P50, uh, P-47, TA-154, and of course the A5U-14, they're all excellent. This one is obviously best if you're looking for a naval plane, uh, a plane really to try to devastate some, some, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> some destroyers or something. But you know what? I mean, overall, just as a fighter, ground attacker, as you saw in that last match, I took out a few tanks in Air RP. This is a viable way to grind through Tier 4 in the tech tree, which for Germany is pretty damn good. And for only 1600 GE, this is a definitely a good purchase. Cannot complain. And I am Captain uh, Michael Sullenberger, maybe. I don't know. Anyways. Thanks so much, but yes, I fully recommend this plane for 1600 GE. Awesome purchase. Take care, everyone.